We've got one of our favorite chefs, one of my favorite people on the planet here with us this morning, Michael Simon. Yeah! Oh, it's good to be here, Straight. It's great to have you here. He's the host of Food Network's Simon's Dinners Cooking Out and a best-selling author as well. Now he has a new cookbook called Simply Simon Suppers, and he's going to give us his pantry dinner download for an easy and delicious dinner made with ingredients you already have in your kitchen. And it's always good to have you here, man. And oh, it's good to be here, sir. All right, your you online know. cooking show. Yes. Is, 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 during the pandemic, Simon Suppers, millions of views, okay? It turned it, it turned into a show now. It your, did. your new show made yeah. me hungry watching. But what was the inspiration for the new cookbook? So the new book, and I mean, you'll get this more than most people because you've been to my house for dinner. So really mm -hmm. what we wanted to do is we wanted to create 52 weeks of those dinners. So if you go through the book, it has meal plans wow. for 52 weeks, including holidays, all the good stuff. So it's like when, you know, when you come over for a Sunday supper, that's what's in the book. Well, I'm already over here. This is the things you already have in your pantry. I'm looking in our pantry, and we're going to start pantry. with a stove top mac and cheese. These are things you have in the pantry. So what are right, you So here? I need uh, I need cornstarch, kosher salt, black pepper, okay, hot sauce, right breadcrumbs, okay. pasta. There we go. Oh, look it. All right. Oh. Oh. Michael, oh, you know how hard was that? <laughs> <laughs> you wait. You probably also should grab some red wine vinegar, olive oil, honey, Dijon mustard, and horseradish. All right, that's for the sauce we're gonna do. Yeah, here right? I'll move that okay. down here. Thank you, sir. Look at that. Yeah. Appreciate it. I appreciate you being my sous chef. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> I mean, are we gonna start with the Chef Stray stuff again? Well, you know, I mean, like Chef Boy R. Stray. I, <laughs> I post my I post my videos on Instagram like you. I don't get a show, and then I get you making fun of me. I mean, how, how many more shows do you need, really? <laughs> that's a good that's a good point. All right, so, so how do we get this going? We got cream uh, simmering on the stove. To that, I'm gonna uh -huh. add a little bit of hot sauce. Okay. And you can put in some salt. All of it. Yep. Okay. Let it rip, and then crack black pepper. Come on, mother. keep going. Come on, keep going, Stray. Keep going, baby. All right. Okay. And then we mix the cornstarch with the cheese. This is because it it keeps the cheese sauce from separating and also thickens it. It's a great trick. So that goes in cheddar and then cream cheese. Yeah. So cheddar and cream cheese. Yep. And the cream cheese is a great stabilizer. And then you could start whisking that with you know the put on you know those big muscles ears. Yeah. Start mixing that up. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna whisk this. And see, look it's at how quick it starts coming. Don't yeah, get it on your suit. Down my time, man. I mean, you know, I mean, fortunately, you have a company to make more of those, too. You're very <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Now, now, what type of pasta do you use for your mac and cheese? I think it depends. I like a cavatappi, but you could use shells. You could use whatever, rigatoni. Whatever. Just don't yeah. use, like, a spaghetti or a thin noodle like that. You like, don't like that? No, I don't like that. You're going to show up to somebody's kitchen if they do it? Yeah, no, nah, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to pop right. in and give them your pantry. So, <laughs> We have the pasta cooked, and this sauce is done. You could stop whisking, but you're doing a fine job. Thank you. Thank you. And we want to just mix this together. And this is a stovetop mac and cheese. Yeah, give it a mix. I'm here to work. I know. Go work, Stray. So, like, you know, sometimes you, you, you could obviously bake mac and cheese in the oven. Yeah, but why, it's why delicious do you right up because bake it? Look at how much more consistent it is with the noodle and the cheese. And this way we could heat it up as we need it. Mac and cheese in the oven is delicious right when it comes out. Yeah. But about an hour after that, it just turns into a big blob of pasta. That is true. <laughs> you know? So look, we take this out, and I'm gonna show you, because everybody's favorite wow. part of mac and cheese is that crust. So what we did is yeah. we just toasted breadcrumbs. Okay. And it, and a little bit of butter, and then you just go on that, and then hit it with the chives, because I know you like to be there. You go. One more, come on, mm. come on, Chef Boy Arstre. Mm. One more, give it to him, baby. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So mac and cheese done. You want to, you know, and it's delicious. It's easy and it's quick. And then we just make a quick salad dressing. Yeah. How do you make a salad? You like serving yours with a, a bitter green salad. Yep. But how do you make great salad dressing that is consistently great? One part acidity two parts fat. So we have red wine vinegar there. You put in the oil. I'm going to put in a little bit of honey, a little bit of horseradish. Yeah. We could put in a nice pinch of salt and pepper. Go on. Let it rip. Come on. Put it in there right here. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. I'm going to whisk. I'm a better whisker than you. I got, you know, look. I, I whisk like a Cleveland you. Browns fan. That is a vis That is a victory whisk right there, Stray. <laughs> victory whisk. Look at it happen. And then we just take you know, I would toss this all together, but you could just drizzle it over the greens too if you want. That, you know what? I'll be honest. That was very simple and easy to do. I thought it was a lot more. Oh, it's because 
It's simply Simon Supper Straight. These are quick meals that you can get on the table for your friends and family once a week. Holidays, everything, the whole thing. Why don't you come over for dinner? As soon as you invite me. All right. <laughs> I love Michael Simon. This is truly one of the best men out there, everybody. His book is fantastic as well. You know, you can scan the QR code on screen to get you these recipes on goodmorningamerica.com. Michael's new cookbook is out today. Go get it. 52 meals for you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.